What is up you guys, my name is Mike Spiller, welcome back to another video, if you're new please subscribe, hit that like button for me and as you guys saw by the title, today I'm going to, I'm going to show you guys a quick and easy way to mix and master vocals on Mixture of 9, even if you have no knowledge, even if you've never used the software at all, I'm going to run it down, break it down for you step by step, easy, and yeah, I've been recording music for 10 years, I did study music for 5 years of my life, so... I'm not a professional, but I do know how to get things done on the right, in the right way and have it sound according to the industry standards, even though I don't have any big diplomas behind my name or whatever. Anyway, I'm just rambling on. Let's get into it. Okay, so here we are on the project file of YOLO. This is the song that I dropped on my YouTube channel. You guys can go check that out. I'll put it, put it uh, in the description of this video. Um, okay. So if you clicked on this video, I'm assuming you already did all of your recordings. You simply want to know how to mix and master and blend your vocals. Now the reason I chose this particular song is because it's perfect for um, any type of vocals, li like the title of the video says, because we have a rap verse and then we have a melody chorus where I sing. So this is the, this is the best way for me to mix both types of vocals. So what I normally do is I add an audio track, all right? I always record my audio in a blank uh, track. I never record on a track that has effects on it. So, for instance, I record here and then I'll put the um, the vocals once it's done recorded. I'll put it into a track that has the desired effects on. So now, I'm going to play you guys my verse without any effects as a starter, just to give you an idea of how it sounds. See every day we've been looking for affection Trying to find somebody who can give us their attention Oh, uh, my thoughts go through different dimensions The extension of tension is making me doubt my own intentions So now, right off the bat, you can hear my vocals are very bassy, they're very warm It's not, doesn't really sound that good So, this is the effects that I personally use to get my sound to the most clear and professional um, to make it sound more clear and more professional to the best of my abilities even though I don't have a very strong system I have a laptop and a USB microphone that is it that's why I love Mishroff so much because it's a free software and it's just very powerful <coughs> so now I want you to click on effects FX this is where you will be adding all of your effects so the first one that I'm gonna use is the T-Pain effect now the T-Pain effect is not a part of Mixcraft's um, plugins, you need to download this one separately. However, if you want to use their auto-tune that they provide, which is called the G-Snap Pitch Correctioner, you can do that as well. I just prefer T-Pain effect because that's just my preference. Once I did that, you're simply going to find the key that you're singing in, <coughs> or you can just play around with it, find one that works for you, and then just set it up. I usually use, for my rap vocals, I use a C-Sharp Major. Next, I need you to add a Poltonic Tube Equalizer. This is very, very important. Over here, I didn't change anything. I just clicked on here and I click on the high, the clean high frequency boost effect. There you go. Next, this is probably the most important one of them all, is the multi-band compressor. This is absolutely crucial because this allows you to play with so much um, and find something perfect. What I usually do is I click on the smooth preset and then I'll listen to the vocals and then this will never be the same setting. You're always going to have to play around with this to find the perfect sound for the particular song that you're working on. Okay. Next we have the parametric equalizer. This is also very, very important because, again, this is also never going to look the same. It depends on the song and the particular sound that you're looking for. So you can adjust the low frequencies in any way you want you can play around with this there's just so much you can do with this plugin i highly recommend it to anybody <coughs> so then we have acoustical delay this is optional i usually add just a dash of delay to my vocals to give it some i don't know fullness if you know what i mean and the last but not least i always add a little bit of reverb again this will depend on the sound that you're looking for etc etc now once i've added my effects this is what the rap vocals sound like. 
See every day we've been looking for affection Trying to find somebody who can give us their attention Oh, uh, my faults go through different dimensions The extension of tension is making me doubt my own intentions I think back to happiness when I still had it Remember when I... Alright, so now you can hear my vocal sound ten times better now one more thing we have to we have to look into is let's unmute our backup vocals if you have backup vocals that is now for the backup vocals with my fx i don't i, I rarely put a lot of effects on the backup vocals because my backup vocals are simply to add character to the main vocals but there are several cases where the backup vocal vocals will play a big role itself and it'll have separate effects but for now, I simply use the Pro Mix Equalizer and the T-Pain Effect. T-Pain Effect, same story, find the key that works for you. And the Pro Mix, pretty straightforward. You're going to play around with this to find the sound that you want. And then with the backup vocals, it sounds like this. Tension, oh, my thoughts go through different dimensions. The extension of tension is making me doubt my own intentions. I think back to happiness when I still had it. <clears throat> so... We just listened to the backup vocals added and I am happy with the volume. Usually what I do is, remember, whenever you play your mix, you never want a track to be, to have this red light come on. That means the track clips and there will be distortion and it's not going to sound very nice. So you're also going to have to look out, watch out for that as well. But a great way to make sure this doesn't happen is to go to your master effects channel, which is right here. And then simply add a master limiter or a master equalizer depending on your preference. I simply add a clean master limiter and I put it between 6 and 4. Like let's say on 5. Alright. Also, if you want to adjust se separate settings, you can go to the mixer tab down below. And then over here you can separately play around with each track's high, mid and low frequencies. But I really use this to be honest with you. Okay, now that we have our rap vocals, let's go on to the singing. So, let me add a blank channel again. So, this is how my singing vocals sound. Without any effects. From my open eyes! You only live once, go get what's yours. So, right off the bat, it sounds absolutely terrible. I actually can't believe I dropped it like that. But, however, that is the beauty of mastering. You can make something that sounds so bad, sounds so good at the end of the day. Again, <coughs> FX. Exactly the same effects. However, there are some changes here and there. As you guys see, um, again, you, you're going to have to play around with this to find a setting that works for you. Um, I guess, basically, all I can do is I can give you the effects and you're going to have to play around yourself to find the particular sound that you want. Alright, so now with the effects, my, my singing vocals sound like this. Open eyes! You only live once, go get what's yours. You can do it, I believe in you. Alright, now, backup vocals on the chorus. This is where it gets tricky. Usually on the backup vocals, we add a little bit more volume and a little bit more effects. Um, in this particular song, I kept it the same as the verses backups because I didn't want to overpower the chorus too much. But <clears throat> I will make a separate video where I teach you guys how to blend multiple styles of takes. Like let's say you have a bass singer back backing you up and then you have a tenuero and alto doing the main vocals. That's going to be two styles of vocals that needs to blend together perfectly and that's a whole different story. So, if you are not subscribed, make sure you do that, turn the notification bell on to wait for part two of this video. Now, with the backup vocals added, this is how it sounds. You only live once, go get what's yours. You can do it, I believe in you. You only live once. Then on the second on the second verse I have a singing verse as well. Let me just mute the backup vocals. Over here I used the same effects as the rap one because you want the verses to have the same <coughs> I guess clarity. <coughs> I think the only thing that I added on the ver on the verses I added a little bit more reverb and I think I increased the T pain effect a little bit. And it's on F sharp major this time. 
my rap vocals on C sharp usually and my singing vocals on F sharp major usually and this is how is how it sounds Stop, it's just the way you go My heart beats slow The story of my life, hope you enjoy the show Just another guy trying to make sure I provide Got some people by my side, no knows that I tried Against the odds, I fight my way up I fall down sometimes, but I stay up Man, I had so much fun recording this song, dude <laughs> And then again, backup vocals, not a big deal Simply put them in the same track as the verses back up Because it's going to be the same story. The reason, again, why I put the singing vocals in its own track is because it's not going to use the same key on the G snap and it's not going to have as little as reverb. The singing vocals has a little bit more reverb, as you can see. So, that is basically that. Again, check your volumes. Again, check your balances. Make sure you master your sound one time while playing it loud and then another time while playing it low to listen for extra sounds in the background that you don't want in the mix as well as you know the clarity the pronunciation and all those extra fine things so if you guys have any questions let me know down below in the comment section and i'll get back to you asap if you guys enjoy these type of videos comment below that you like them and then i'll try to make more of them as well all right guys with that said thank you so much for watching this video i'm out well, that has been today's video. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you have not done so. Hit the like button, turn the notification bell on, and comment below any questions you guys have, as well as any topics you guys want me to cover on this channel. Now, I don't only just make mixture of videos. I drop my own music. I do multiple things on this channel. So I'm not quite sure exactly what you guys want and what's the best type of content for you guys. So, yeah. You guys are going to need to help me and let me study my algorithm for a while. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.